How's the water? Uh, <laughs> First time swimming. It, it is a little bit colder. It needs to warm up a little bit more, but it's very refreshing. <laughs> I usually wear uh, swimming shoes. It's a little bit rocky on the bottom, but uh, I actually didn't wear any when I went in. Yeah. It's a little cloudy today, but the sun is still trying to peek through the clouds, but it's still warm. Wow, that was brilliant, amazing. The water was at a chill, but as soon as you jump in, it's just, it's almost like it's medicine for your whole body. My back's been a bit sore since the last couple of weeks of just uh, heavy duty work around the house and this is actually gonna help. We just decided to take the Sunday just to relax around Lodges here. And not a lot of people down here. And I think just the sound of the ocean, just being down here is a very Zen place. Probably our favorite place on the island. Just trying to recharge some batteries and muscles for Monday for next week. More work to be done. Uh, glad you're hanging out with us here by the coast. It's beautiful. Everything cool happened on the way down today. Uh, we were just walking, coming out of the house, down the road. When we hear a car, I don't know if they honk, but they yelled out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carlos, hey, Laura. Hey, Carlos, Laura, we're your number one fans. <laughs> Actually scared me for two seconds. I'm like, wow, we, they're very nice. It's Fernanda and Paulo. Uh, they're, they're like from here, live in Canada, just in Toronto. So they're here spending a lot of time like us and it was kind of nice to just you know connect yeah, with them. Yeah it was so sweet they were such a nice couple and they were talking about how they watch our channel with the whole family and they always anticipate the next video coming out on Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah we've heard that and I think makes, makes us feel really good because that's really why we do these videos to share obviously to promote our business as well but I think we're getting a lot of great feedback based on you guys get a little glimpse especially the ones that are from here or have a connection to here, but also people that have never been here, they get to just see what it's like, like right now behind us. You can see it's just peaceful, and you can obviously the Renault and whatever. We just try to share a little bit, to be uh, you know transparent. Um, and um, when you meet, uh, I was just about to say fans, but let's just say uh, <laughs> followers. followers now friends, um, and uh, makes us feel really good. It's, it's just like an extra bonus that uh, makes us really happy and uh, yeah we've we... been meeting a lot of uh, followers here lately <laughs> yes yeah it's really nice and uh, actually one day I like to do we're gonna do a video where we're gonna you know, more visual like today but uh, we're gonna ask people to let us know if how the our channel or some of our videos are impacting you uh, in whatever way you know maybe it's uh, getting to know the Azores uh, so uh, we're gonna do one of those where we'll kind of just hang out and then all you guys can just comment and let us know, um, you know, uh, how you like the channel or, or not, I guess. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of videos lately, lately uh, just on our house and renovating and that type of thing. So it seems to be our life right now. We don't have a lot of time to be doing um, other activities, yeah. but we're really gonna try to, we actually, one thing we really wanna do is go kayaking around here uh, so we're gonna try and do that and just show some of the activities yeah. that you can do and yeah. And actually we didn't plan on being vlogging today But we just thought it was we kind of felt like we needed to and we, there's no mic So hopefully you, you're, it's picking up but actually you know what why don't we make this video? Where if anyone's watching this either for the first time or some of our regular followers uh, Make a comment just telling us uh, what you think of the channel uh, is it uh, in a positive or negative way? You know, uh, we can't control that part. And uh, you know, did you find the channel? Uh, the, did you find the Azores or Pico Island because of the channel? Uh, anything? Yeah, and also let we, us know if know. you guys are thinking of coming here. And uh, you know, we'll we'll leave our uh, email and let us know. Yeah, but anyway, so. Don't forget to comment and we're not saying out yet uh, but uh, we just thought we'd share this with you and just uh, another hello to fernanda and paulo mello 
and and the daughter. We talked to the daughter. Oh yeah, they actually yes. had their daughter on uh, in Toronto. Zoom, a call. FaceTime. Yes. They were FaceTiming their daughter, Telling and us. it was actually their daughter that told their her parents that if they if they do see us, to tell them that uh, she hello. said hello. And uh, by coincidence, timing, <laughs> boom. Uh, but she, uh, the, the daughter's coming in August, so maybe we'll see you. All right. So, anyways, well, Carlos will soon. see her maybe because I'm I'll leaving be in July. Yeah. <laughs> We're just back at the house here. I just thought I'd just uh, play a little bit with Zena. Ah, oh, so nice, eh? Water's still brilliant. I can see from up here. Uh, but no, I just thought, Zena, say hello to your fans. Zena, uh, uh, you enjoy looking for lizards again? Yeah, she loves those lizards. Plays with them. Looks up, come out of the wall. So nice to relax before going back to the house tomorrow. Where I'm gonna be getting back to the the reno. And I got all that stuff drying. And there's a rooster here, he's pretty much all day. Starts early. Si, senor, okay. Tooth buying, Galu. <laughs> we were down there earlier. But it's a nice 24 degrees right now. Hardly any uh, wind, just nice. Nice to be on the island. Hope you guys are enjoying. Because tomorrow it's back to hard labor. Morning guys. Well, we're back at it today. Uh, today is June 26th. It's a Monday. And uh, as you saw yesterday, we were, we took a day off. It was a Sunday. We just went by the water. Just the whole day we just kind of relaxed and uh, just basically tried to not to think about anything. Not about the reno, not about anything else. This is about enjoying uh, being by the coast, being on the island. Uh, so that's what we did. But today we're back to work. I got my sander. We're going to tackle some of these units that we're going to revive. And well, that's one of my jobs. Rui's at the back. He's putting up the walls. It's coming up. And we'll show you that later. And uh, thanks again for supporting our, our videos. Uh, especially, you know, the last the renos. I know a lot of you are interested. So we will be doing some uh, island uh, kind of relaxation, uh, visual landscaping videos soon too. But right now this is our life. And like we why we do these videos we just once a week share what we're doing and this is what we're doing I'm trying to use a bit of the finer uh sandpaper because this is very delicate so try not to use too much of the sand or might need to but i think for now just to get the some of it out and then with some primer and then some paint um, should work now having said that i just realized uh, I, I think i sounded like bob villa i don't know if you guys remember him but i'm not teaching anyone how to do so this is what i was told to that would work and this is what we're doing to work on some of our other pieces so i'm going to continue to do so but what a, what a place to be doing this outside look at it water is olive oil a lot of fishing boats today and uh not a bad place to work actually so uh all you, some of you guys are doing the same thing on these islands. Uh, we're very lucky. All right, so another job for today is going to be taking these uh, this um, uh, shutters down and sand it and then paint it. Also with that door, it's wood door. Yeah, we didn't want to. We just it was too much money getting, and the since it's not really going to be used except for storage, we're just going to try and make these uh, paint this so they can match more or less to the rest of the house and uh yeah that's uh, it's just we gotta also that's pretty yeah. wow anyways we'll do our best it's just uh temporary later on we can get uh, a proper shutter and window for this but for now the money needs to go somewhere else oh 
Whoa, some of these screws are in there pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to another reno day here. So we're back today. Uh, we'll just continue on uh, with a lot of things we we're doing yesterday, so we're not going to film that. Laura's painting. I did a little bit more sanding, uh, more primer, and uh, we'll continue with that. But one thing that we're going to do today, actually I'm going to do, if you can see behind me, this is the old pig pen. It is going to become what I would call the lizard lounge eventually. Place to hang out here away from the house. But I thought today I'm going to try and just break this, this wall down. There's some uh, block wall here, and I just want to take the wall out we'll use it for fill for the um the patio and then we could uh you know it'll be cleared and i think that uh, that's why i want to do it now so then we can use it on the on the patio where you i uh, talked to Rui, he says it's a good idea and uh anyways i'm going to give it my best shot and try to uh see the wall behind me here try to just knock some of this down let's see what happens hopefully i will not get injured before doing that let's have that to uh, my favorite thing, uh, the ocean break. And actually, let me pan this way. So this is where the wall's coming along here very nicely. He's already started working on the other side. And look at the water today. Again, smooth. There's your blues. There's your greens. And I'm just gonna pan uh, behind this big pan here. You can see the mountain now becomes country. The ocean now becomes countryside. A little bit of Scotland. A little bit of Ireland, a little bit of Switzerland, maybe. Okay, now I'm going to show you the wall. And this is it. I'm going to try and just smash this down here. I already tried it. I think it should be, I should be all right. And just make this clear, clear all this out. So then we can maybe at the end, whatever's left over with the cement, we can just smooth it out a little bit more. All right, let's do it.
the walls down. Actually, it was pretty nice. You have to get hit at the beginning, the, the, the blocks loosen and it came down pretty good. I'll keep going with this. I got a lot of the wall down. It wasn't easy. There's some places that have steel, iron, and uh, but uh, take a look what uh, what we're up to. What we're up to, and uh, I'll continue eating away at this. I want to keep. Um, there's these two um, drinking. Um, it was for the pigs to drink on. I forget that. I don't know how to call that. Uh, Piers, they call it here. So let me just show you, and then I'll, I'll, we'll take a quick look at what Rui's doing, and we'll sign up for the day. We're pretty much beat and ready to go home. Here, there's all the rubble. Wow, a lot more. Look at this. So the wall's down, you can see, and this is where, where those trough, I guess, for the goats or pigs. It's lava rock, and I want to keep those. And that wall, I'm having a hard time because of that steel. I might need some help. No, this, this hammer won't do it. And I think when it's all cleared, this would be a nice little spot to hang out here. Like I said, lizard lounge. There's a lot of lizards around here. Friendly lizards, that is. Uh, but let's take a look to see what Rui's up to. This will be the highest wall. Pretty much about guessing. At least six feet. He's already put in the, where the entrance is going to be here. It's going to be a gate. Oh. You can see that that wall was just brought up couple just for safety it was kind of low and you can still lie out here this will be all in the open if you want to someone wants to sit on a one of those beach chairs and suntan they can it's good to see this kind of progress because this this was the last piece one of the last pieces of the puzzle uh, just getting something done on the outside that we've uh, always wanted to do, which is since we bought this house, we knew we were gonna be putting up these walls for more protection than the pergola and the patio. Look at that. It's gonna look good. Yes, sir. So that will be, I won't be able to see the, the neighbors, a little bit more privacy in here. We'll keep you uh, up to, Obviously keep showing you the progress here and uh, we'll leave you with uh, Rui doing some more really nice work here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bon dia guys, back at the house this morning. It's actually uh, Sunday morning. And um, as you saw in the last part of the video, we were showing the walls going up and I have to show you what it looks like now. Look at this. Doesn't this look fantastic? This is where the gate's gonna go to the back. That's gonna look so good. Especially when it's all cemented and painted white. I think this is gonna look so good. And we're gonna put a gate here as well, going into our hill, the garden. So I think that gives some privacy. And all these walls are done. And you know what's great is Rui is really good at cleaning up after himself. After his job, he cleans. So this part, that's where the barbecue is gonna go. I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing inside. I've been doing a lot of painting. So we're trying to paint all the furniture that we can use just to save some money. So I'm just finishing up on these doors here. I'll show you the unit in a minute. And this is the unit I finished. 
that's going to be our TV stand. I'll show you the other unit I've been working on. As you can see, we're still waiting for our kitchen counter. Uh, feeling a little frustrated with that. <laughs> but here's the other unit. I painted it gray. I'm going to use this as a coffee bar. I think that'll work. Yeah, so got to get back to painting the uh, doors for that unit. Oh, I have to show you also, just refurbishing these tall windows. So I took them out, sanded them, and then um, unfortunately, Carlos had a bit of a mishap. <laughs> He put the window in and thought he had enough time to run into the living room to get the block to hold it and the wind blew it in so it broke one of the window panes. So something else we have to fix. Oh, these things happen. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, something's wrong with our car. <laughs> uh, Carlos isn't here right now because our friend Dale uh, took him to drop it off at the mechanics. So let's hope nothing is too serious with the car. It sounds like the muff muffler, um, but we'll see. Anyways, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, there's Louie picking uh, Carlos up to go take him to get the car. And um, I think that's gonna be it for us today, guys. Maybe we'll be able to go swimming later this afternoon. We'll see. Anyways, guys, um, you know what to do. Please subscribe and like and share the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao, guys.